Now Gould sends it long. Cut out by Blizzard. And Bo Blizzard for Braden Man. He passes to the Fox in the box. Works it to Bidwell. Runner starting to arrive in the box. Bidwell throws in a step over or two, then squares it to Miles Barnard. Smashed it wide of the post. Helping out. And Fisher curls this one in. Millington gets his head to it, but it's wide of the mark. And now Lascano and Stone, and they see it away, but that's the best chance of the game so far. Tyler Fisher still in the palms of Pitchford. Unable to beat them. Here's Noah Mees. Noah Mees, one way, then the other. Dexterous from him. And he crosses brilliantly, and it's over the top. Smith squanders a glorious opportunity. The work from Noah Mees, wide on the left, absolutely superb. He sends them all right. he off to the shops to buy a hot dog. The quotes a lot on. And really, Smith needs to be doing better from that opportunity. It's going to be Daniel Sison. He chips it in there. And thumping her into the back of the net. City take the lead. And guess who it was? Big Noah Mees rises up and heads City into the lead. Wonderful stuff. Sison with the delivery. And once again, from a set piece against the strikers, they profit. And that is the definition of a towering header. Rose above them all. Well, well, let's counter. Scott smashes it forward. Bidwell away from Linger. Man first time for Blizzard, but stepping in was good. And Blizzard. Strong just a challenge. Just individual, really. <laughs> oh, look at the replay. Just bounced off him. Bo Blizzard, I don't think, moved. Held his ground. He's a tough customer. See if I get the ball first, and then Blizzard crashes into him. It's an obvious free kick, but the script not going the way. The striker skipper. We've been after so far. There's Giansopoulos. There's Long. Bidwell nods it into Linger, then Mees. That's surely a foul on Mees, but he's so strong he keeps going anyway. He's tails up now, Noel Mees charging towards goal. Oh, Mees over the par as he went for goal of the season. Lindsay Millington again. Spot on with his positioning. Fisher doing some good defensive work. And now perhaps a chance back on the counter-attack. Pitchford charging out after it. He got there before Mees, then missed the ball. Noel Mees! Oh, getting back by the Blizzard saves the day. Oh, dearie me. Jared Linger, the danger still hasn't passed. It's Mees again! Straight at the keeper this time. Already won this weekend. South Hobart taking Olympia tomorrow. And that's a lovely turn here from Joel Stone. Cuts onto the right foot and he crosses for Barnard. Bidwell! Couldn't quite get to it. It's Crusher. Man, got his head to it. Not any semblance of direction, however. Holding back to Crusher, who's going to... Go with the diagonal for Bidwell. Straight onto the head of Linger, though. It was Bo Blizzard. Worked it to the Fox, who plays a lovely ball for Bidwell, who drives. Clawed away by Gian Sopolis, and the volley from Barnard is wide. Pretty quiet by the Spaniard. Crosses into the mixer there. It's Mies again off the line. And then holding clears. No, amazed. He's a wrecking ball right now. He's been the striker's best so far as Kermitaz Kirst strikes and he puts it straight up onto the chest of Sice and Jared Linger. Flashy feet beats two. Jared Linger charging goalward. Centering ball was behind Orazio though. They've worked it all right though. Tyler Fisher. First time he's bobbed up in space. Tyler Fisher! What a save, Pitchford! Huge power from Pitchford to deny Tyler Fisher who hit that with some velocity. And that is a top draw save to keep it at 1-0. He fair belted this, did Fisher. That's a great stop. Oh, no, no. Only five. Mees knocks it back. Kills it in towards Smith and Michael for Jared Linger! Oh, to the crossbar! Twice in two weeks, Jared Linger has been denied by the crossbar. And what an opportunity that was for the young fella. And that probably goes down as one you need to put away. Wonderful work from Smith and just Bidwell slipping. 
And that is agonising for Jared Linger. Presented one of it played to his feet short. And stopped it, uh, lofted over the top for him to run onto, but not the same page there. Fisher taking up a position on the right hand side. Oh, lovely stuff here from Joel Stone. Galloping down the right, throws in a step over. And now he's going to shift inside. He crosses dangerously. Jansopoulos way into the post. Braden Mann, what a one! Off the post, the rebound fell to the one man. Launceston City at least wanted it to. That was Braden Mann. He levels it up here. And it's 1-1 at Buckby Land Rover Park. An explosive start. Give all the credit to Joel Stone for this. He drove it in there. The rebound from Jansopoulos poked onto the post by Barnard and fortuitously fell to Braden Mann. And he doesn't miss an empty net when it's presented. Seems now the pitch. And look a little bit wider. Here's Turtle Holden. Inside for Joel Stone, who drives from range. Joel Stone! What a hit! He picks out the bottom corner, and Devin Port have turned this game around. They lead 2 1. Pure magic from Joel Stone. He looked up, they sat off, invited it, and he crunches this one. Giansopoulos despairingly across. But he can't keep it out. And Devonport, in the blink of an eye, lead 2-1. It's cruel, so cruel for City. Complexion of this match now with Launceston City needing to get on the front foot and chase it. Braden Mann got in ahead of his former teammate Fish and then played a delightful ball to Joel Stone, who in turn tees up Eddie Bidwell. Jared Ling is bursting back in defence, but a promising counter-attack this. It was. It wasn't the best delivery into the box from Bidwell, though. His second effort's pretty good, though. Just wide. Eddie Bidwell trying to do it all himself. So Stone into the middle, palmed away by Giansopoulos. Danger not cleared. Las Cano volleys. That was closed down and affected the shot. Lizard. Brandon Man outside of the boot. Jelenovic cuts inside onto the right and then he goes the audacious chip and just gets it wrong. That was a... He's Turtle Holden. Braden Mann back to Holden. Michael Holden charging through. Millington brings him down. Holden gets back to his feet. It's Holden with the chip. Giancephalus was ready for it. Hooked back centrally. Jell Stone. He helps it off. And Linkovic. Thinking it's going to look back to Joel Stone. Scott comes in and brings him down. Play on the goal. Here's Michael Holden. Oh, lovely stuff from Holden. He tees it up here. The cross to the back post. Braden Mann was the target. He'll have a second bite at it. Will it reach him? Not quite. Mann still brings it down ahead of Campbell and then turns back. Campbell with a lock and it'll be out for a corner. And Devin Port, as it stands, have taken two of their chances. City could only take one. Hence the score, and Jelanovic could be played in here. Left-hand side of the box. He turns onto his preferred right foot, still going Jelanovic, and then he dinks one in. Blocked away, Copper calls the penalty! The handball against Liam Scott. And this is a chance now for Braden Mann from the penalty spot to surely secure a win. Let's have a look on the replay. It's a dink. It's, it seems a harsh call. It's out harsh for mine as Braden Mann steps up and makes it 21 Devon Ports. And that could be a huge blow in season 2018. And boy, does he enjoy it. He's given the little slide and a little fortnight dance from the ground. He's a happy man, he's Braden. He's got his goal. And the Devon Port strikers have a two goal lead. And it's a little grey area in football, those handballs in the box, though. Look at the World Cup. It's Joel Stone. Takes it off and slides it through for Holden. This will be the knockout blow. Michael Holden, Jansopoulos. Denies him. Got out and made himself big. As Turtle Holden just thought he'd dink this one over the top. And secure the victory. Jansopoulos extends the leg. After a pretty... Good first 45 from the dangerous ball away by me. He's only as far as Stone who gets that one well and truly wrong. We knew the contact he made on his previous strike from distance. 
will eventually take the kick. Very good today. All the strikers have had a number of winners, especially in this second half. And there it is. The Devonport Strikers with a huge victory. Three goals to one over Launceston City. They jumped to the top of the MPL Tasmania table.